Well, hello everybody, this is Out of Green of Phoenix, and I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, project that I've been working on. It's my shop at, on my survival world that I made. This is a fully automated redstone shop. It has instructions here for people to use it, to help them use it a little bit uh, easier. And I'm going to show you guys how it works, and then kind of explain some of it. And then maybe later on I can even show you guys a little bit on how it uh, works. You know, kind of explain the redstone a little bit. But essentially this shop actually counts out how many diamonds you feed it. And then it will not give you your items unless it makes sure that you have that many diamonds available. So, let's put two diamonds in. And say I wanted to come over here and let's say I wanted to buy a gold block. And I also wanted a coal block. So I uh, select those, it would let me know that it's in stock, and then it would go and shoot it out when um, after it goes through the system and checks. And then once it's done um, shooting everything out, it's, it then packs it into your shopping cart. And once your shopping cart's all packed up, you can come over here, you click the finish button, and then it brings your shopping cart over to you, you grab your items, and then you send it back. And then it's all ready to go for the next person. Now let's say, um, let's see here, let's say I put in one diamond, and then I came over here and I went, you know what, I want this and this, and you click them both at the same time. Then I try to cheat the system, you come over here, you see one shoots out, so anyways, if I put one diamond in here, and, and I come over here, and then I click both of these items, because I'm trying to cheat the system and get two items, or two things out of it, instead of one, you'll see that it shoots out one, but the other one does not come out. So then you just get the one block that you paid for. And that's just supposed to be like a anti-cheat thing to try to keep people from, um, you know, trying to keep people from cheating the system. Now, and of course, as you just saw, that was with a diamond and that you can't click the button and get it to work. So obviously if you just click the button, there's no diamonds in there, it's not going to send anything. The only thing that will happen is it'll show the light saying that it's in stock. However, that also does mess up the stock count because at the moment, with the current version of it, I don't have a thing to keep you from shooting out the stock counter to check if it's in stock. <clears throat> but now I'm going to come on back here and kind of show a bit of the redstone and make it work. So um, I'm still going to be doing uh, some more work with this, like I'm planning to put a automated sorting system in it so that it can um, sort uh, so I can just like put all the items into a chest and it'll go through and automatically sort it down through these. Um, but the at the moment, uh, the this is how it's set up. So this is the system that basically um, decodes whatever it is that you are sending out. So. Um, if we come up to here, this is where the buttons lead to. They lead over to these dispensers here, which have these uh, cobblestone blocks, which I have named what the item represents. It just it made my job a lot easier over here on the redstone side by doing it this way. And then when you come down to here, it uses an uh, automated sorting system to go and figure out uh, what item is what. So whichever one you click, it comes down through here and then it sends a signal. Uh, and then it will drop this down, which count, which works as like a stock counter. So I can uh, have the exact amount of stock sitting in there as for what you need in here. Uh, it probably didn't sound right, but essentially, it, um, however much, uh, how many, however many items I have in here is the exact amount that you can buy from the shop in order to keep people from like wasting their money. 
However, the nice side is that if you were to click it and there was there was none, nothing in here, then that means that all it will like the uh, stock light won't come on and it won't do anything in the system. You can keep clicking the button, but nothing will happen. So it's really nice in that way. Now, after the after it gets a signal down to here, um, it will end up sending a signal this way, which has two purposes. It has one purpose of sending the signal up to this, which comes down through here, and this is actually where you um, where it releases the diamonds at, which I'll get to later. But then it comes out to here. Like it go, the signal goes through that block out to here, and then this is activated whenever there is whenever there's a diamond inside the system. If I were to put a uh, diamond inside of here, then it sends a signal up this way, and this is the thing that says, "Hey, there is a diamond in the system. You can send a signal through." And as soon as you click a button, it will send a signal down this way which um, will move the diamond, sends a signal down to here, moves the diamond over this way and drops down into this um, hopper here. And it's designed, so let's say I have two diamonds there, and I work, so if I put two diamonds in there, and I come over here and let's say I click that right there, and I walk down, there will still be one diamond here and then one diamond there. That's what that does. Uh, this is a circuit thing that I made. I don't know, I mean I imagine somebody else has made it too. I haven't seen it though. But essentially it takes the signal from this here and then it puts it into this block and then this catches um, if there's any signal going into this at all, and then it sends the signal out to here saying that there is a diamond. It doesn't matter how many diamonds, but if there is even a single diamond, this activates allowing a signal to go through. Now once the signal goes through uh, to here, um, like as it start, comes through here, it'll go and send a signal to this first, moving the diamond, and then within... Get out of here. Then within seconds of that, it will send a signal through here and pull it up almost as quickly as... Um, uh, actually, wait, I wonder if I can show it. Yeah, let me go grab a redstone, or I'll go grab a button and we'll go and try to visualize it that way. That, activate it. Sensor. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> oh, whoops. I forgot that I can't use a button like that. I need a block to put it on. We'll do it again. Sends signal down through here. Turning that off, and then within the time that that signal goes through, this thing opens. So we'll do it one more time so we can visually see it just a little bit better. So we'll do that, and we'll look at it from this angle here. You see the signal just barely gets to here, and it hits that, and then immediately after hitting that, it gets retracted. And that's how that system works. Now, um, we'll come over here. And these, these are all the signals going up to the um, individual uh, droppers that actually drop the items through. And then as you come down to here, these are all the circuits that send the signals up to these sections because, you know, some of them have the same items, some of them are one individual, like the uh, the emerald here. The emerald I only used one hopper because, or I mean one dropper because there's only one that's being dispensed. 
and other things like the obsidian here, you get uh, eight of them, and so I ended up using uh, eight of these. Well, I need four of these uh, droppers. And the signals underneath. So they uh, run the line over to the other side here. The other side of the system on over here. And they send the signals up there as well. And then I have circuits down here, and these circuits all essentially just control the amount of items that get shot out. And that's what their purpose is. So if they get the signal sent to them, then they go and they have like a, a circuit, like a counting circle circuit that I used um, to go and count out exactly how many items there are supposed to go in there. And the circuits, I made it using, um, using comparators and uh, the uh, hoppers, hopper running into each other, used a flip-flop system here, or flip-flop uh, here to go and uh, like control which side the items are on, and then this controls when the system shuts off and gets so it starts getting sent back the other way. It's uh, a lot of stuff that I'm not exactly um, going to be able to describe that easily because this is a little bit more on the complex side, and it took me a long time to make all this stuff myself, so trying to explain it to you guys is not going to be easy there either. But uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's kind of the um, core of how this works. It has a uh, uh, over here. This is also a um, item item sorter, which goes and checks to see if it is diamonds that are getting dropped in. So if anything else gets dropped into the system, it sits in here, so it won't get fed into that. And. Um, Diamonds back out. I'm gonna go upstairs and make sure that I don't have anything to be spawning. Oh, 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 oh. Oops. Okay. So as for the um, packing. The packing thing is actually just a comparator that's running off of this hopper here into that block. Um, I'll uh, jump up here. So there's a comparator there, it's reading the uh, that there is a signal from this hopper. If there's a signal at all, it goes into that block there, powering this. And that just allows you to know that there is still items inside the hopper. If there are items in the hopper, and you were to like click on the cart to bring it over to you, then the cart is not going to have all the items that you bought, because it, it's still in the hopper. So if you were to get like one of the bigger things, like 192 sand, then it takes a second for the hopper to feed it down into your chest. To your uh, shopping cart. So you have to give it a minute. The stock is uh, essentially it just reads the signal whenever you click any of these buttons. Uh, it sends a signal all the way across and around to this and this light comes on saying that it basically received the signal that the uh, cobblestone like um, stock item had gone through the system. So, therefore it has read that it still has cobblestone in stock. Or, it still has that item in stock. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of the basics of this shop and how it works. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you guys have anything else you want to see. Let me know if there's anything in the circuit that you want me to teach you about. Or if there's any other redstone fundamental things that you want me to try to describe. Or any just redstone things that you would like to see if I can build. I am always down for a challenge and I definitely enjoy 
um, like we were trying out different things. So uh, just let me know what you think, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please comment down anything that you think of, because I enjoy talking to you guys. Have a nice day.